Hi, in this video, we're going to solve a problem from permutation combination, which appear in J Advanced 2024. So first, we understand the problem. A group of nine student, S1 to S9, is to be formed three teams X to Z of size two, three, and four respectively. So that means number of students in the group X, Y, and Z are two, three, four. But it is given that S1 cannot be selected for team X and S2 cannot be there in team Y. Now you have to find out that how many ways or different number of possibilities to form such team. So let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. So now, uh, first, uh, write down the given conditions. So here it says that, right, group X uh, can have only two students, group Y having three, and group Z can have only four students. So the total will be nine. So that's the distribution. And also it is given that, that S1 cannot be in group X and S2 cannot be in group Y. Now, as S1 cannot be in group X, so therefore S1 can be placed in group Y and group Z. And S2 cannot be there, right, in group Y. So it can be possible to put in, in group X and Z. Now we put try to make the different possibilities where we can place S1 and S2. Let's go ahead. So here in group X, I cannot place S1, but I can easily place group Y, the S1, right? So S1 in group Y, and then corresponding, we have to check for uh, S2. So therefore, notice that if S1 in group Y, so S2 can be in X and Z. So therefore, there is two more options. So S in group 2, X will contain S2, and group Z contain a S2 once again. So this is the one set of possibilities. If I consider that now that S1 can be in Z, right? So let's go ahead. I take that S1 in group Z. So what about S2? S2 can be placed, right, in group X and group Z. So that's it. So therefore, I can place S2 in group X and once again H2. That means S1 and S2 together in group X. And that's it. So these are the possibilities, right, of placing first S1 and S2. So divided into different cases, we called it as case one, case two, case three, and case four. So now our job is to find out the different possibilities for different cases. So first we consider, right, that as S1 and S2 are already selected, so therefore the number of remaining student, right, that need to be placed in the groups are seven because two is already there in the uh, name of S1 and S2. So case one, for the case one, we can see that that remaining student now is seven. Now we consider first how many ways the group X can be formed. Now in the group X, one student is two is already there. So how many students do you have to select? That is only one student, right? So this one student for group X can be chosen out of seven remaining students in 7C1 or 7A. Now for group Y, what is the number of students in group Y? That is three. So therefore, the remaining student is two. That need to be filled in because S1 is already there in that group. So therefore, right, two students from the remaining six students can be placed in 6C2 ways. And group Z, see that? Again, two student is selected. So the remaining student will be four. Now, as the remaining student is four, so, and group Z contains four students, right? So therefore, this four out of four can be chosen in four C4 or one way. So therefore, total number of ways will be the product of seven into 62 into one. So for that, we need to calculate what is 62. So 62 will be computed as 6 into 5 divided by 2, that is 30 by 2, that is 15. So therefore, the number of ways of selecting the student for case 1 
will be 7 into 15 into 1 that gives me 105 and that's it so this is the way of calculating right the total number of ways of selecting student for xyz groups for case 1 now we have to similarly you have to analyze 2 3 and 4 so let's go ahead Group uh, case one for placing all those uh, students is done. It is 105 ways. Now case two. In case two, group Y contain S1, num S1 group Z contain S2. And what is the remaining student? S7. Now for group Y, I have to place or I have to uh, place the student first and then group Z or vice versa, not group X. Why? Because group X is a free group. Free group means that anybody can be placed there. So there are no such condition is present. So therefore, I have to do that at the end. So let's first consider group Y. How many students? Three students. So this three student, S1 is selected. So what is remaining? Two students. That two student can be placed out of seven students in seven C2 ways. So therefore, the now two already selected so the remaining student will be five and from this five i have to select four student for group z now see that in group z s2 is already there so number of remaining student must be three so therefore these three student in group z can be selected out of the remaining five student in five c3 ways now what are the remaining student now 3, 2 is already selected, so 2 student. Group X contains 2 student only. So therefore, these 2 student only we need to place in 2C2 ways or 1 way. Now let's calculate that 7C2 and 5C3. So 7C2 can be easily computed by 7 into 6 divided by 2, which is 21. Whereas 5C3 is 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 3 into 2, which is 3, 3 get cancelled. So 20 by 2, that is 10. So to total number of ways of selecting student for case 2 will be 7, uh, 7C2, that is 21, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 1, that is 2, 1, 10 ways. So that's it. Now you have to find out the possibilities for case 3. For case 3, notice that S2 in group X already and S1 is in group Z. So first we concentrate on that case 3 and group X only. So here in case 3, right, number of remaining student is 7 and we have to fill 2 student in group X as S2 is already there. So the 1 student need to be filled in and remaining is 7. So this 1 can be placed in 7C1 ways or 7 ways. Now we concentrate on group Z. You see that group Z, S1 is present and number of remaining student must be 6. How many students we have there in group Z? That is 4. So now we have to place only 3 students. So this 3 student in group Z are placed from 6 student in 6 C3 ways. And now the remaining student will be 3 and group Y contains only 3 students. So this became free group. So it can be filled in only one ways. So we have to calculate that 6C3 now. 6C3 is actually 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 3 into 2 into 1. That is 20 ways. So therefore, total number of ways of replacing student for case 3 will be 7 into 20 into 1. That is 140. So therefore, now case 3 is also done, which is 140. So, the last case, that is case 4. In case 4, S1 and S2 is present in group Z and group X and group Y. Any student can be filled up except S1 and S2. Now, for case 4, obviously, now as S1 and S2 is placed, so the remaining student is 7. Now, the remaining student that need to be there in group Z, that is 2 because it contains only 4 students. Now, as it is contain only 4 students, so then that 2 remaining student of group Z can be selected out of 7 student in 7 C2 ways. Now, the number of remaining student became 5. Now, for group Y and group X, right, any student can be filled in. 
So the three student in group Y can be selected out of this remaining five student in five C3 ways. And now the remaining student will be two. And now that two student only need to be placed in two student in group X in two C2 ways. Now we calculate what is 7C2. Let's go ahead. So 7C2 is 7 into 6 divided by 2. That is 21 ways. And 5C3 is 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 3 into 2. That is obviously 10 ways. So therefore, for case 4, the number of ways of selecting student will be 21 into 10 into 1. That is 210 ways. So with that, we able to compute, right, that total number of ways of selecting student for different cases, one, two, three, and four. So now, it is obvious that in this case, number of student can be selected either in case one way, or in case two ways, or in case three, or in case four. So therefore, total number of ways of selecting such team with the given condition will be 105 plus 210 and 140 and 210. So everything we got it done. If I add them together, it gave 665. And that's why 665 is the correct answer for this particular problem. And that's it. Hope you understood this interesting problem which appear in J Advance 2024. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe.